Hey buddy, it's 54 New Star, and this is going to be a kind of a an early tutorial into the Copper Cube engine. This is kind of like the stuff that's going to move over from Copper Cube 1 to Copper Cube 5 with very little difference. So, what are we going to get in today? We're going to get into how to texture items. Um, items that already have a texture, like say you went to Open Game Art or Blender Swap, and they already have a texture on them, and you just what you if that's fine, you're just gonna move it straight to your uh, game engine. Well, we're gonna do that today. We're actually gonna figure out how to do uh, game buttons, like a, a menu. Um, so these would be the buttons, and then you here we have our little uh, planet, and then we have our sky uh, our sky box. And this would be a menu. And then we have our different scenes, the name of the game, how to make a scene. Now, this scene's not done yet, but uh, for our purpose, it's actually pretty much done. I just need to put a skybox on it, which we can actually do right now. Actually, I'll, I'll actually want to leave that for um, us to actually make one. And then how to uh, make a simple little intro, because this is actually going to be an animated intro scene. So let's get straight to this. So how do you import something? Well, what you do is you click right. All right, oh, there we go. And we're gonna get something that says insert. So you can actually create a cube, a plane, a cone, uh, a sphere, a create a room from a 2D map. So you can basically build like a top-down thing. But we're not gonna do that today. Um, I'm going to actually put up a mini series similar to what I did in Construct 2 versus the basics of uh, Copper Cube, which will allow you to actually get into like really in depth of the engine. I'm actually going to put up a video pretty soon right after this one detailing on what all these buttons do and what you can do in the engine. But right now we're going to get started on our basics of this game, which I'm actually going to tell you it's going to be very similar to a basic um, FPS shooter. So, uh, yeah, think of Unreal 1, think of Quake 1, think of Quake 2. Low poly, kind of low texture resolution, but easy to pull up on a mini computer, or actually more specifically, um, it's more forgiving on your smartphone. Why am I doing this? Well, it's easier for you to actually build um, if it's more basic, but we will be actually getting to more concept, uh, um, not harder things, but like things that you people would want to do. Enemies, doors opening and closing, activating keys, guns, all that sort of stuff. So we pick something that we can do, we do it, we then make it then more complex as we've done in our Construct 2 series. So, um, okay, so how do we import something? Where well, we get the insert, we can import a, we can do a skybox, we can create a path, um, create a camera, light point. We're going to get all to this a little bit later, but we want to import a static mesh. Now we have two we have import animated mesh and uh, we'll be dealing with Blender today, uh, a, a little bit of Blender. So it's Blender 3D 2.70, um, also 2.49. Um, I suggest, and I'm actually going to post this in the link, probably not in this tutorial, uh, probably in the next video where we actually get to creating our first level, is uh, a certain format called uh, .b3b, which is, I think... Um, it's some old format from like uh, 2000 and the 1990s, but it imports very well into this engine, very well. It imports all the animations as everything very quickly, and it's um, a free plugin for Blender, so that's really kind of cool. Um, also, the updated engine should import other formats or more animated formats a whole lot easier, so we'll be getting into um, OBJ, 3DS, um, blender formats hopefully and all that stuff so right now we actually want to just deal with import a static mesh this is my folder I can import um, true space standard polygon you know just a whole bunch of basic formats DirectX um, Erlicht 3DS um, 3DS Studio ASC 
So the engine has a lot of stuff that you can import. Um, Ogre, Quake 3, Quake 2, you know, a whole lot of stuff. Blender, just, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So what we're actually going to be importing today is a planet. So we're going to go to a folder. There's a planet there we can import from Blender. B3B, OBJ, um, we do it OBJ. And there it is, this little white ball. And because it already has the texture data inside of it, we're just going to click on our texture. And then we're going to go to materials and we're going to hit the little arrow and boom. Now, how do we import a texture? We hit add. And basically, we can import PNG, TGA, PSD, PC, uh, PCX, JPEG, Bump. Um, yeah. So we're, we have, let's see, Desert Planet Texture 256 by 256 and Desert Planet Texture um, 894 by 894. So we're going to click that one and we're going to click that. Also, if you right-click your mouse and go and swing in and out, you can zoom in a little bit more, like a uh, more sensitively. That's a 256, and then this is the 890, um, 890 by 890. We're gonna we're gonna stick with the um, 256 by 256 texture. I'm actually going to um, delete this one. Now, how do we add these? You just right click, insert 2D overlay item. 2D overlay item basically means a HUD of some sort. And then we have to create a 2D touch screen input item. That basically means your um, Android, iPhone, or what have you touch button. You can also create a 3D sound. Oh, we can also create a particle system. But we're here to create a HUD. So we create, um, right click, uh, no, right click, insert 2D, 2D overlay item. We have it right here. We go to attributes, visible, non visible, all that stuff, relative position, just leave all that alone. We can have draw background, no. Or yes, and then the amount of alpha to it, and then the image. Um, here we could have it like that. And there we go, we got a box. Um, keep aspect ratio so it doesn't overstretch and pixelate. So that's really kind of a cool thing to do. So you can have your like your little face right there, and it's it could change. Uh, we can also do is hit behaviors, and when clicked on this, do something. Yes. Okay. For that, we're actually going to need to put a camera in. So I'm going to put insert a camera. create a simple camera and then we're going to move this to basically where we were okay so that should be good and then when we click on this when we click on this little item um, action, change texture, and this one's called 2D Overlay 4, change all texture, change material with index, actually change all textures, change texture to what? that. Okay, so we're now going to hit pop.
publish and this is to demo it so it's going to load up. It's going to take a little bit to load up since it's running from straight off the engine and not from a compiled um, compiled file. So we hit this, we click, it changed the texture. So we can actually create buttons from that. But we don't need that. Now to the overlay button. We can either create it from a 2D over overlay item or just actually yeah, that, that's what these were, buttons. Um, to the touchscreen button, you just put it right there. Materials, actually, there'd be attributes and the cursor image, which would be the little black dot right in the center, and then the um, image would be the larger circle. So we'll be messing around with that a little bit later. Okay. So for the second scene and to add scenes, all you do is go to new scene, add, add scene three, okay. How do we go to Another scene. Well, let's get into some of the logic or the coding behind it. So I have an exit button and I have a play button. So our exit button is going to hit behavior. When clicked on do something, quit application. And you just hit that, hit the plus button. So you got scripted items, special, quit application, execute JavaScript, open a website. So that would, is basically quit application play when clicked on this do something so we hit that we're gonna hit uh, we hit the little plus icon when clicked on this do something uh, wh what are we gonna do we're gonna switch to and we're going to go to cameras and scenes we're going to go to switch to another scene okay so that's gonna tell us to go to the scene but you know we need a little bit more than that switch to a scene. What scene? Scene 2. It's going to give you a list of them. So we're going to go to scene 2 and it's automatically going to drop us into a camera. So it's going to drop us down in this camera and this camera is set to follow a path. How do we create following a path? We go to scene, we then create a path and it's going to have these little nodes, those little boxes that you can stretch and it's going to follow them. We can also do is make it longer. So it's going to, the last one that you clicked on, it's then going to add another one in front of that. So I told it to go to this little uh, asteroid field up to this planet. Now, let's see, what when we click on the camera follow path. When end reached, stop, and we, we have several options. We have start again, stop, switch to a camera, start again and do action, stop and do action. I told to do st to stop and do an action and I told it to unhide or unhide a scene node. Visibility change type, make visible. Change which scene node. So I have a plane called plane mesh one and it's invisible. Let me select it. Plane mesh one. Actually, hold on. No, no, no. That one is what I wanted. And uh, I'm going to make it visible real quick. And it says Planet Prime. Because that's the planet we're going to. Okay. And so it basically it cuts into a little scene. So let's get real quick to this, this scene. Our settings, actually not settings, um, here we go, publishing settings. What do I have this on? I have it for a resolution of 1024 by 720, DirectX 9, but you can also do software, OpenGL, DirectX 8 and 9, and I have 16 and 32, I put mine on 32, and I have anti-aliasing. So we hit play, and here we go.
Okay, here's our level, or basically our menu. So we have, whoops, um, okay, so we need to add a camera. So we can activate the menu. So we're going to go to simple camera. Basically, I want it to have the same view that I had before. Uh, that's good. So we have our exit and then our play. So we hit play. We enter our animated scene. We have the planet. Planet Prime! And then it will go into our next scene to where we walk around a, um, a station or spaceship, get a mission, and then head down to our mission planet. Hopefully you guys you enjoyed this quick um, tutorial and if you would like to see more of the tutorial series please just hit the like button and put your comments down below remember to share it to everybody if you like um, and all that good stuff I will be putting more construct 2 stuff I just wanted to uh, switch to another series real quick so I wouldn't be distrained doing solely cop um, um, construct 2 so please support the series if you would like to see more 3D stuff. I really like doing this stuff. We're going to get into animations. We're going to get into all this stuff. And I will see you in the next one. So thumbs up, guys. Bye.